I'm Haley, and we're at the Cider Barrel in the beautiful downtown Olympia today. And Shannon and Aislinn are gonna be trying some amazing ciders that we have in stock, as well as ciders that we have available for delivery. All right, let's get started. All right, we're gonna be trying some of Swift's cider, and Swift is Cider Makers out of Portland. Now, before we get started, I want to just point out just how gorgeous the, beauty the like, should array I, of ciders I that Vanna is. Vanna White this? Yes. It's so pretty. <laughs> so gorgeous. It's so pretty. So this first one that's like that light pinky is our pomegranate cider, and that's where Ooh. we're gonna be starting. See, I would have thought that that would have been the yeah. pomegranate. From the way mm. that they With, look. Because pomegranates are like that dark red. Yeah. But no, and so their juice sweet. is a little stainy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, totally. That's not a not a word. <laughs> That's it's a close today. <laughs> yes, they're yes. dry again. Okay, yeah, so this is the pomegranate. Pomegranate. See, I'm not like it's not like in my face. No, it's not overwhelming at all. No, but I love pomegranate, so I mm -hmm. can tell that it's there and it's a dry. And I think pomegranate's another one of those fruits where people can, since it's not like pineapple level sweet, right. they just are like, we need to add 10 pounds of sugar to this. And they didn't do that here. Yeah. Right, they didn't make it. So it's like, oh, like, yeah. It's very easy, very light. You can drink more than you should of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it does still have that minor pomegranate flavor. I can definitely recognize it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that I, I don't recognize it, but not in like a bad way. It's just a very like easy thing. Mm -hmm. It's very to drink. subtle. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. It's not like some of the ciders where it's very much like you take, you sniff it, and you're like, oh, I know what's happening here. Right. This one is right. a little bit of a mystery, mm -hmm. which I think I like. It's very like refreshing though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So our darker one, moving into our next color, is the Marion Berry. Oh. Which yes. the coloring does make sense. It makes sense, yes. But as we've mentioned a couple times, berries are usually mm -hmm. a favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. And again, another berry that I love. Right. I don't know that I've ever had, I probably have like a fresh Marion berry. I don't think I've ever I don't like, either. Yeah. seen that before. I just know it as like a part of like a pie. Yeah, yeah. it's usually something that's mixed like in other. Yeah. I think that, yeah, this is something that kind of allows me to make some sort of distinction of like, this might mm -hmm. be what it is. It mm -hmm. tastes very real. Like yeah. authentic. Yeah. Yeah. It, there's not, um, <laughs> it doesn't taste like they put a lot of chemicals in their stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it just tastes very kind of natural. And I mean, Portland, usually you can count on more of the natural. So mm -hmm. Swift being out of Portland, you're like, oh, Makes a lot of I sense. can see that. Yeah. yeah, I value that, the, mm -hmm. the natural. All right, this last one, that pretty yellow color, is a pineapple hop cider. <gasps> I smell the hops oh, immediately. Sure. Oh, mm -hmm. So like that hop's already jumping out at you. Immediately. Mm -hmm. It's bitey. Oh man, I like this. But yeah. it's definitely, there's the pineapple there. Yeah, but it's not overwhelmingly, like pineapple syrup everywhere. Right. Like, does the pineapple and the hops kind of meet nicely in the middle? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think that this one is another kind of transition where if you're kind of a beer drinker, yeah, totally. it's there. But then there's a really nice kind of acidity with the pineapple, and mm -hmm. but they didn't go with the sweetest of the pineapple. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a really crisp mm -hmm. light. Like this is something I would order if I go like sit outside on the patio and uh -huh. have like a summer meal. Yeah, totally. And I think yeah. that if you sometimes are like turned off by something that's like hoppy, like heavy on hops, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to have the pineapple there too. Oh yeah. To kind of like soften that out a little bit. I think they're just like a good complement for each other. Yes. So it's a good balance for either side. If you're a beer person yeah. who's kind of interested in cider, this mm -hmm. is a good place to start. But if you're a cider person who's kind of interested in beer, it also kind of gives you that opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I don't know who this wouldn't be good for. Right. This is a good cider for everyone. Mm -hmm. 